Someone took Martha Maxwell's life 30 years ago. They stabbed and killed Martha in the front room of her own home in Elizabethtown, January 20th, 1994, taking her away from her husband, children, and grandchildren. But no one has ever faced charges for that crime. It's one of the oldest unsolved murders in North Carolina, according to the SBI. I sat down with Martha Maxwell's children as they plead for someone to help end the suffering that started on that horrible day. And I told her, I said, Mom, I'm finna go to work. She said, okay. I said, now you get up and lock the screen door. And I sit in my car. Even after 30 years, the pain for Hilda Faye Cromarty and her siblings is still raw. Their mother, Martha Maxwell died on January 20th, 1994, inside her home on Blue Street in Elizabethtown. Someone got inside and stabbed Martha several times in the chest and neck. She also had wounds on her hands and arms from battling her attacker. With no signs of forced entry into the home, the family believes Martha knew her killer. Oh, well, it was, she knew him. Cause she's not gonna open that door unless she know you, and I know that. She unlatched that screen door. She got ready to turn, and that's when he attacked her. That's why the vases and the flowers were knocked down. And he attacked her, and that's when the struggle right here, because she was fighting him off. Martha's husband, Johnny Maxwell, found her body shortly after noon, about three and a half hours after Hilda Fay had said goodbye what frustrated investigators and the family for years after the murder is that no one has come forward with enough information to make an arrest. Nothing from the neighborhood where Martha lived. Nothing from the town she called home. They didn't see nothing out of the ordinary as far as somebody coming in here to rob her or to murder. It was just a normal thing for them to see that person come to this house. The big question who would want to kill Martha Maxwell? She worked as a nurse at a nursing home in Elizabethtown. Martha and her husband did have some marital issues, according to her children, and they also do not believe it was a robbery, since they say Martha's credit cards and jewelry were left behind. My mother was a sweet person. She was a loving mother, grandmother, loved her grandchildren, did what she could and when she could. So it was, it was something that really shocked the entire family. Elizabethtown's police chief said later that year, the department paid $9,000 in overtime for officers to investigate Martha's murder and another one that happened about a month before. Chief Mike Royston told the reporter, quote, it's hard for me to believe that no one out there knows who killed Martha Maxwell. He said, it's hard to conceive that no one heard or saw anything, end quote. Now, I did talk to two former members of the Elizabethtown Police Department who both worked on Ms. Maxwell's murder case. Neither one of them felt comfortable going on camera because 30 years have passed and it is still an open investigation. But both of them told me they did a thorough investigation, interviewed several people in the case but never got enough evidence to charge anyone. The current members of the Elizabethtown Police Department resubmitted evidence in the case to the SBI in 2021, hoping new technology and testing could produce a new lead. There's been a lot of advances in technology. It's been made for as forensics, DNA, uh, you know, different stuff like that, that that's available now that wouldn't have been available then. Whether it's new test results or a tip from someone in town, investigators, like Martha Maxwell's family, hope someone will come forward. If anybody has any information out there, anything that I, it doesn't matter how minor they may think it is, I mean, we're, we're receptive, we're open to hear that. And, and, and if it, develop, you know, it gives us something to develop a lead or, or a new avenue to go in, that, that's what we're more than willing to do. Because 30 years of pain is enough. The family, the five children, what we have suffered and went through, we need closure. If anybody out there that knows anything in regards to my mom that's been gone, well, be 30 years, please 
step up and reach out to us and let us know. Because like us, like he said, somebody knows something. Mm -hmm. Somebody knows something. Soon after Martha's murder happened, then-Governor Jim Hunt's office offered a $6,000 reward for information that helped to find and convict her killer. I checked with the governor's office, and that reward is still in place today. You've heard Martha's children plead for help from anyone who knows anything about what happened to her. I've put the phone numbers for Elizabethtown Police and the SBI inside this story on our website. If you know anything, they're asking you to call. John Evans, WECT News.